What's up, everybody? This is Jack from Crypto49er, bringing you my knowledge in cryptocurrency. So today I want to talk about the Elliott Wave ABCDE triangle pattern. But before I do, just want to remind you guys I give away $5 in Litecoin or $10 on CryptoBridge every Friday, and I ask a trivia question every Wednesday. In order to participate, you need to answer that trivia question. And this week is going to be on my Instagram. So only answers to my Instagram post of Wednesday's video will be accepted for the giveaway. Good luck, everybody. And on to today's topic, Elliott Wave ABCDE Triangle Patterns. So I'm going through Lesson 18 of Philicon's 24 Cryptocurrency Tutorials. If you guys are wondering why I skipped Lesson 17, there is a somewhat obvious reason why. <laughs> it is six hours long, so there's no way I can cover it in one day. I could just probably watch the whole entire video in one day and I wouldn't be able to make a video about it. So what I plan to do is probably watch like an hour a day until I finish this whole entire thing. This is definitely, it's just more the fact that you can see how you actually make money and see the thinking that he has. I think it's important, but I actually have to see it and then I'll be able to give a more definitive answer on what I think about it. Anyway, on to lesson 18, ABCDE patterns. This one is only about 13 minutes long. And I have to say, I watched it like two times. I think this is the third time I was watching it. I'm just lost. I felt like maybe it's because, you know, he covered a lot in this six hour tutorial. But overall, I just felt like someone that was going to school but then was sick for a whole entire week and just missed out on the whole entire week of classes. And all of a sudden, I come back the next week and I'm like, what the heck's going on? What is the professor talking about? What is this? A, B, C, D, E pattern I, that he never mentioned before and it was very hard to understand. So what I did end up finding is two tutorials about the A, B, C, D, E Elliott Wave Triangle. So the first one is here from Tradism, Tradingism and the other one is just a video. It really depends on which method you retain information better. For me, I usually think it's video just because I seem to pick up video very well. It's very easy for me to understand what is being spoken about in the video compared to reading a long, long article like the one on Tradism. But I have to say, I couldn't find any good videos on Elliott Wave Triangles or Elliott Wave ABCDE patterns. So this was the best one that I found. And I have to say, it's not that great, but it's, it's short, it's five minutes. I will include a link to it. But I really found this article be, to be very helpful, even though I'm not normally a person that likes to read a really long article. But this one did help me a lot to understand what Phil Khan was saying in his video. So let's go into it. So the Elliott Wave ABCDE pattern. So these Elliott Wave form triangle pattern. They are all part of corrective waves. So think of it as wave 2 and wave 4 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave. So wave, wave 2 is a corrective wave and wave 4 is a corrective wave. And also in the 5-3 cycle you have the ABC wave and the A and C wave are also corrective patterns. The next thing you have to know is that there is usually very little volume and volatility during the pattern. So literally, there is probably nothing much going on during that time frame when you can actually draw that triangle out or it's starting to find that triangle in that time frame. You see that there's not much action going on. And the other thing is within these ABCDE waves are three subwaves. So there are 15 subwaves in the in the A, B, C, D, E triangle. Okay, so I think it's best if I show you guys in trading view how this looks like. So this is a bullish descending triangle. As you can see in the article here, you have a downward trend line and you have a basically a parallel line going through on the bottom where the A, C, E are kind of being supported by this line. And what it is is you can see that it was a bullish trend going up and then all of a sudden it just kind of got stuck and this got stuck in this triangle and this got bounced back and forth, back and forth, until wave E when it broke out. And pretty much that's what I see here too as well. So it was a bullish situation where it was riding upwards, and then it came down a little bit and ride upward again, and then just got into this triangle. I couldn't get out. So it got stuck here. So you can see that every, from A, C, E, it's actually going down in price. So you can see the, the low was 6777 for A, and it was 6713 for C, and then E went even lower, 6735. And you can see that B and D are relatively flat. So it's all like basically getting supported by this uh, by this line over here. 
and you can see that once it got out of this triangle, it broke out and it went, went straight up on a bullish trend again. And right now it's kind of onto another triangle perhaps. You can see that it's already getting stuck again. So remember I said that there's very, usually very little volume and volatility during the pattern. This is exactly it right here. You can see it. There's a lot of volume over here when there was that breakout. But then between then, nothing. It was absolutely very low volume. So it's like 57, 28, so on and so forth. It's really low volume. And all of a sudden it broke down to 675. Again, this is a 15 minute chart, so there's not that much volume to begin with. But you can see that there was very little volume during this, the whole entire time frame there. And within these A, B, C, D, E waves are three sub waves. So you can sort of see it in here already, but if you can't see it that well, one thing I do is actually go into a lower time frame. And then you can see in a more zoomed in fashion, you can actually draw out a ABC here. So you can say it's like from A, B, C. So you can see you actually draw out a three wave pattern within wave A. And you can do that again for wave B and you do that again for wave C, D, and E to form 15 waves. So that is one triangle. There's actually another triangle type, and you can see it right here. So this is a con converging triangle, the one that I showed you previously. This is a diverging triangle where actually it expands out. You can see this is a bearish diverging triangle where it fell down a lot from like 7,000s all the way down to like 6,000 and change. And then you can see it kept bouncing bouncing between this diverging triangle and then you can see that this resistance line right here this is like resistance because it can never break this resistance line and it, it tried several times but really couldn't it was just kind of around there hovered over a little bit but it couldn't break through the resistance line and finally it just gave up and it fell another two three hundred points more and you can see it following the bearish trend that it started with so, so that's the different types of triangles there's actually a lot more different types of triangles as you can see here the symmetrical descending ascending and then there's different rules there's a lot to read about it and a lot to remember i'm not going to cover every single one of these rules you guys can definitely read the article and get a better understanding of these triangles and the rules and this is again the divergent triangles that i showed you earlier so the last thing is i have to show you is how to profit from these so one way to profit is go long after wave d on a bullish trend when it breaks out from the triangle set stop loss slightly below d so in this case, it's basically like this for this example. You can see that once wave D is completed, just go long from here. And you can see that it will eventually break out of this triangle and you can profit like this. The other option is to go long after wave E breaks the trend line. The trend line will be the support. Use other T indicators for exit. So in this case, you can see that once it went through eight wave E, it kind of just was here for a while. It's just like it kind of hugged the trend line for quite a bit until it broke through. So you can wait till around here, and then when it breaks through, you can buy, you can avoid. You wouldn't profit as much, but at least you would have that support line in place, and you wouldn't have to worry about a stop loss as much because with this one, you have to set a stop loss slightly below D just to make sure that this triangle is actually intact. Whereas this one, you have a much safer trend line that actually supporting your purchase over here. But that is my video for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the Elliott Wave A B C D E triangle pattern. Let me know if this is helpful to you. Let me know if you guys watch Philicon's video, Lesson 18, and perhaps understand a lot more than I could because I got confused and I just couldn't really understand it until I actually uh, read through this other tutorial here. But anyway, guys, as always, please hit the like button for me and please hit the subscribe button for me if you're new to my channel. I appreciate it very much. If it isn't crypto, it isn't worth mining, it isn't worth speculating. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.